Welcome back everybody, I'm Cern and we're going to play some more Battle Brothers with the Legends mod doing the solo Crusader playthrough. I want to apologize real quickly if the last couple episodes or maybe even longer were kind of too loud on my end um, after I went back through to check that recording. It was very loud in spots, so hopefully it wasn't too bad because I did kind of edit it and turn it down a bit, but I was like, ugh. Um, so hopefully I fixed the compensator. Everything should be a lot better. If I scream at somebody, it shouldn't hopefully like break your speakers or your head. Or whatever might be the case. Also, we are being graced this morning by my cat, who is ever so intrigued by the birds that live in the shutters outside the windows. <clears throat> if we're lucky, he might just throw himself out the window trying to get one, which is like sometimes the highlight of my morning. So, but we left off here in Roth and Mark. I believe there was a contract to go find something. Yep. Uh, northeast of here. Okay, sure. Why not? We finished up that caravan contract last time, hoping to find something at the armor smith. But of course, they're like under. Attacked by bandits, so that's that's not happening. Um, you can never find crap at night. Oh, it's, we passed it somehow. Great, it's apparently hiding. Uh, yeah, let's do it. That seems easy enough. In old contours, our ambition that we really need to complete. Oh, I don't like that one. There's a bush there. Damn. I'd rather have that, really. I'm okay with having a little bit of even ground around me, because they'll do stupid crap trying to get to it. Also, for anyone who's not familiar, this is probably one of my favorite helmets in the whole game. Um, it's it's not very great, but it is, it's not a sack. It's actually heavy armor with a sack over it. Um, in my No Shields campaign, I had somebody wear it for a long time because it was just kind of the best thing I had. And he had a crap ton of fatigue so he could get away with it. Uh, but people would always be like, why... Is he just wearing a sack or No, no. There's a helmet underneath there. Good times. It's incredibly rude. Alright, we'll just helicopter our way home from here on out. And... That's really confusing. You did not take that ground. They just moan and use and well, now he's gonna kill himself trying to get to it. Alright, whatever. I don't care. Zombies do stupid stuff all the time. I'm not gonna start caring about it now. I think he just went for it. I don't know. I heard something. That or he's just shifting his weight and it's very loud. That cat weighs like three pounds. He just will not eat. Um, so you shouldn't be making that much noise. Well, the good news is they still have ambush trade routes, so we can sell these spoons for a pretty penny. Like when somebody has ambush trade routes, you never have to wonder if you're selling for a good price. You you just are. Uh, kind of need some food, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much. What's this job about? The Lost Souls Harbor, west of here. Um, let's see what this one is. Kill the oh. Yeah, we'll start. We'll start with this. I'm okay with that. Maybe they'll get rid of that thing and hopefully they'll have some themed armor for us. Um, no, nah, we'll leave him be. I'm not interested in robbing anybody. It goes in unholy ways against Absurdum. We have a leader, marksman, thugs. Um, it's almost nighttime. I'd much prefer doing that. Maybe we can sneak in a bit of training. Apparently we got some repairing to do. Yeah, that's okay. We're gonna be Lost Souls Harbor is like a super cool name. We're gonna be finding some marksmen though. I'm more concerned about the marksmen than the leader, as ridiculous as that is. Oh, and there seems to be another uh, leader there, which means we should get paid double for returning, or we might get attacked by mercenaries on the way back, which would be kind of cool. It doesn't sound like that would be cool, but I'm kind of super interested to see how that would go for us. We got Mr. Scourge of Arbingen. And Roger the Hina. Hyena? Is that how you spell Hyena? Do they have those here in this world? So many questions for Roger. Hey! Dick bag. What a bag of dicks. Well, Mr. Scourge here isn't wasting any time. Getting comfortable starting to know everyone. 
wrecked, friends. Cut your hand in half. Cut your arm. Cut your hand in half. Cut your abdomen. Just imagine me just spinning recklessly around with this thing out there. Like when you're a kid and you, or when you have like a niece or a nephew and you just spin them around you and they're giggling because they're like four. Just big whirl. It's that, except instead of a small child, it's a really sharp blade and I'm cutting people open. There's blood everywhere. Awesome. Awesome times. Alright, we practice nine lives. Apparently everyone else here is either an archer or has a long stick to poke me with. Both things I do not find amusing. Alright, let's just uh, get these stacks off of us. Kill that man and grab some of these people here. I'm gonna kill some of these archers. Get some of these other people off of me. Can you jerk back? Yeah, that seems fair. Hey, so this is these archers. Even at nighttime, they don't they don't care. That's what I'm talking about. They just don't care. Yeah, you. that's a smart move on your part. This guy on the other hand. Except you ran the wrong way, but you know, whatever. You have a broken ship, so you'll be fine, probably. I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, wow, the loot here kind of sucks. But that's life. Let's repair quickly, because I won't be terribly surprised if we get attacked. By mercenaries. It sounds like everything got repaired. We are ready for experience. Mercenaries could be a tough number on us, because they, uh... They have ranged. And they have overwhelm. We can deal with the overround, but the range might be pretty good. Except we didn't get attacked by any, so here we are. My god, we still have ambush trade routes here. I thought for sure that would clear it up. No, well, just means we get to make a little bit more money here. Off all their marksmen loot. God damn, so many marksmen. It's like the game knows that's the only thing that can hurt me. So they're just going to keep throwing them at me. Which is fair, I guess. Well, so it goes. Down is eager. Why do I, I don't know why I keep buying him beer. Uh, Greenskins, I think, were a common style. And if that's the case, I don't want to go there. Because I don't feel like walking there. Yeah. And it's probably goblins. So they can go screw themselves. I'm not interested. Okay. What do you have? Package? Nope. What do you have? The ruined hut west of here. Um, maybe we'll just go find it ourselves. You know. See see what they got. Okay. Actually, you could probably do that too. Finish up this uh, ambition we have. Where in God's name would this ruined hut be? The problem is, is it could be all the way out here, at the Dagger Crest cover. Thug, marksman, raiders, leader, war dog, a few master archers, a few band of veterans. Not the place we're looking for. Um, not, not interested in that. Huh. Not, not they said not far west of here. Um, I could have sworn that was a conversation we had. Keep looking for a bit. If we can't find it, so be it. That's the way of the world. The ruined hut? I think this was it. We have thugs, butchers, a marksman, a few raiders, a leader, a war dog. Um, a small chance there might be decent loot. If we take a mission for it, there's probably a very low chance there'll be loot there. Oh. 
And by loot, I mean like a famed loot. Let's see how that treats us. Actually, I think I'll just move up one more if I can. Just so he doesn't have the high ground on me. That's what I was looking for, though. Was people trying to murder themselves like so. Guy's got a really nice beard. And for that, he must die. Okay. Well, I will murder you. Oh! Didn't work out well for the last guy who tried shooting his leader in the back of the head like 20 times. Come on. <laughs> hilarious. Every time hilarious. Let's get that stack off me. Yep, you're in trouble. Oh, look at Slick Pants there. His pants are slick. I want you dead. Very, very badly. Uh, <laughs> jerk. Alright, let the fun begin! My favorite part's when they murder themselves. Like that. Just flying all over the place, cutting people down. That last turn real action would have been something to see, I'm sure. Oh yeah, we got Ambers. That's uh, incredibly disappointing. Hey, but that's okay. They can't all be winners, right? Let's camp in the mountains. I don't see what could possibly go wrong there. And uh, try to burn that place down. I think that sounds like fun. The uh, ghoulish place. Well, the guys just... The one the zombies. This one. The grinning skulls rest. That's a strange sound about it. Uh, you have changed. You've changed what you have here. And I don't, I don't think it's for the better. Winzel Muddle. Okay. It's just, okay. Okay, it's just one of both. We've done this. We can do this. We can do this. Seventeen. There's a lot more zombies than I was led to believe would be here. Not fond of that. So can we get these bitches out here? Thank you. Actually, I'm gonna back up a little bit. I'm concerned her range is further than my chain. I have no reason to believe that. I have no factual knowledge of whether or not that's true. Apparently not, because she went up that close. Uh, no, cat cat! Where do you have to fucking possibly be right now, house cat? Get back in there. Sign of bad... It's a bad omen, I'm sure. Ugh. Maybe not. Cat game itself might be a bad omen. Or maybe I'm just trying to assign arbitrary feelings to arbitrary situations like cat game. It's hard to say. I'm very surprised this fallen hero does not have a helmet. It seems very strange to me. Doesn't seem very fallen hero ish to me, you know? So it was brought up in a comment, and I haven't been able to get back to it yet, because I'll get the comments after after I start uploading this one. But basically it was like, well, should we stop putting points into melee defense? Pretty much everything is not able to hit us at this point, which is true. But if you go back to the Ancient Tree fight, I believe that guy was hitting like a 20 or so percent chance to hit us, and that is way too high. Uh, most enemies can only roll a 5% chance. Um, 
without a doubt. But the ones that can still hit me um, can very much still do so. And those are the ones that I'm I'm really scared of. Um, especially in longer fights like the tree. Because um, even if it's like 20% chance we have to go through 40 attacks, that's a lot of times we're going to get hit. Whereas even if it's 10%, obviously that's half, or 5% would be much better. And we're lucky we didn't take worse injuries from that than we did, because had we rolled different ones, we could have very easily died there. I think, long and short, it's better to uh, at least put some more points in there. Because right now we're doing alright, we got 79 because we're confident. But like if I could get Lone Wolf, then I probably would have stopped doing it. But since it's not a perk for this guy, then you know I think we have to keep putting points into it. Uh, there's going to be enemies that have a lot better accuracy than that, than the tree, in my head. And uh, we can't let things attack us and give us... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Injuries. Uh, that just make it even easier for them than it is in the future. I've had a lot of characters go down like that. Once you get one, then you get more much quicker, and then they're just gone. Before you know it, they're gone. Um... I'd like to get it up to about 80, I think, um, and even then that might not be enough. It seems excessive, without a doubt. I completely understand that line of thought, because the line of thought was, well, wouldn't it be better to, to put it in something else, fatigue or something? Um, and, I, and I don't disagree with that. Uh, but the way I'm looking at it is we still have 70 levels, so that's 70 more points I can put into one thing. or realistically 210 points we can we can put throughout um and it's it's just gonna have to be that way i think we can get some more defensive perks um we can get some more offensive perks that will make us more survivable as well but when everything is said and done i think in footwork might not be a bad idea to skip out to somewhere that would be better depending on the ground or the terrain but um it would be better than me just casually trying to walk by everything like i do now um but when everything's said and done, I think it's just how it's going to be. We're just going to have to keep putting points into it. Uh, but you know, let me know your guys' thoughts. Some of the, some of you guys have played this a lot more than I have, especially the mod. And I, you know, you know more than I do about it. I think for now, um, it's definitely the right call to pull more range defense in. These archers were able to do a tremendous amount of damage to me, and I don't know if we're ever going to be able to really get around that. Um, short of having like a better shield or something. Um, and if certain enemies, or if I can find a really nice, really nice one-handed weapon, you know, I think some enemies would just be better faced that way. And I'm thinking things that can really hit as hard, perhaps like linworms and stuff, but maybe not. Um, so it'll, it'll be interesting to really kind of figure out those key, key things, key differences. Oh, nice. There's our trophy. Cool. Wow, that didn't take long at all. Let's camp a bit. Just the daytime so the shop opens up and we'll see what's going on down there. We still got some time this episode. That's good. Uh, and they have a job for us. Nice. An armor with nothing. He says it's a decent time to sell, so we will. Do do come on. God, we got a lot of junk. It is a really good thing we have donkey. There's no way I'd be able to hold all this stuff. Uh, I'll keep all of those. Sure. I'll sell that. Sure. Grants immunity against fear and mind control. So, mind control would be nice because I imagine if we got mind controlled, and that probably counts against Hexen. I think somebody said it did. Um. But fear is not like the Geist attacks. I'm pretty sure it's just like the Ancient Priest attack. So, fortunately, that one doesn't do us as much good. I'm pretty sure about that. Huzzah to the commander. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Goblins? Nope. You lost me on goblins. Let's go to Grafenhaven. Is there something there? I feel like that town doesn't get much love from us. But now I remember why. It's kind of stupid. It's just a stupid town. We don't ever need to talk about it. Interested to see what our new ambitions will be. Unfortunately, I think it's going to be like, uh, get 12 men. Get 6 men, which isn't going to happen. Uh, we got a murder here. Uh, whatever. Dude, there's murders everywhere. 
Take four days. What about brigands? Going to Holness? Where the hell is that? Four days to the west? What's going on in Holness? Oh, down here. They just have a harbor. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Back to Rothenmark. All things begin and end in Rothenmark, apparently. They no longer have ambush trade routes, which is kind of strange, but sure. Whoa, that is a sexy helmet. It's not famed or anything, it's just a $31,000 helmet. The Frog Moth Helm? Hard to breathe in and limiting in the field. Field of view. Yeah, I bet it is. That thing is cool looking, man. That's 31 grand. That just seems kind of excessive. Now, of course, that's like one of the things we do have is a famed helmet. 318 and 15. It's, I mean, in terms of vision penalty, it's really not that bad. It's almost, it's an extra, like, what, 90 or so for 7. That's, that's really good. I cannot believe that's not famed. I feel like it is. It's just not highlighted for every reason. It's got the price of a famed item, that's for freaking sure. And, I mean, God, I kind of feel like I should buy that. It just seems wrong to give up a famed helmet for a not famed helmet. But I mean, 85 points is on par with for, for seven fatigue. That's on par, That's on, that tracks. So it's the same like ratio as my famed helmet. It's just heavier, which does me a lot of good. Yeah, I just know the second I do that, then famed armor will come up and be like, it's invulnerable against linworms and everything you're afraid of. And I'll be like, God damn it, why can't I? If only I had the money to buy this. So that it makes you the second coming of Christ. That's what the description says. And I'll be like, son of a bitch. I'll be like two coins short. That's, that's how it goes for me. What do you want me to do? Yeah, demonic statue sounds good. Yeah, why not? Sure, demons, whatever, statue, get that thing. I don't, I don't need all the details, okay? What are you... Are you chasing something? Are you chasing my... What in God's name is happening here? He sent the whole freaking town after him. I'm so confused. Oh, God. Now I have to put up with these guys. In the way. Ugh. Whatever. At least I'll deal with the marksman for me, I suppose. I like that the militia has, like, little armbands on it. It is a nice touch, but... Are you a woman? I can't tell if you're a really ugly woman or a really ugly man. Oh. Rabin the Brigand. Dog! I hate that when that happens in real life, because... I, I don't know, I was driving by somebody the other day, and... I was passing them, and... I thought, man, that's a really ugly chick. And it was just a really ugly dude. And um, he was like 20. And I think, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not here to judge people's appearances. I'm really not, but like, it was just, it made me uncomfortable. Oh, knocked him down. That's not fair. I mean, that guy is just trying to live his life, right? Not, not trying to put up with some dickhead who thinks he knows how he should look. And yet there I was. It's not like I rolled down my window and shouted at him, Hey, you're an ugly guy. You look like a chick. You know, that's his business. It was just, uh, I don't know, it was just, I don't want to say disorienting, but it was awkward. It was awkward for me alone in my car, you know? I feel like this, this story is not really doing me any favors. <laughs> I feel like I'm not really expressing my story well, and it's probably not coming off well. That's right. If things keep going the way they're going, I'm never going to get a haircut. They're going to be like, wow, look at that fat middle-aged woman with three chins. He needs to lay off the freaking Oreos. Which is true, I do. God damn it, they're so good, though. Ugh, that, that upsets me. 
Who, who dazed you? Oh, oh, no, don't kill him. How are you letting them kill you? Oh, God, it was supposed to be mine. This whole thing was a waste of my time. You stabbed him in the ear, that was a nice touch. Let's just go into town, man. Good on you. This guy's still confident? I'm, you know, confused. He's probably just confident he'll get away, maybe, I don't know. There... Their archers always hit me at night. And I've got like 20, I've got like a sh two shields worth of defense. Our archers can't hit shit. I don't even have archers and it's the same story over and over again. He's probably standing right next to him. Finally landed a blow. We will almost certainly be letting this guy go. I certainly don't care enough to chase him down, but... Eh, we might get him. I think we got him. Yay for adrenaline. I used to never use adrenaline. That was dumb of me. Those were dumb times. Then I did a solo campaign and realized that it is god tier. Especially when you're by yourself. Please don't go back and watch any of my earlier seasons. I can't imagine how painful some of the decisions I made were. Look at this idiot. Spending an hour talking to himself about what it perks you should get. Like he has a slight understanding of what any of them do. Go to the wilds. It's a dangerous business. Dexterers become men of legends. So we're just supposed to discover places, I think. The company's ill-prepared to fight armored opponents. Uh, imagine sure after we could blaze. Should five men to master their weapons. Um, I guess we pick this one. Just give, cover hidden locations. It can be any hidden locations, which we should be doing anyway, so. The helmet taunts me. Taunts me. Come across the Forsaken Rings on your way here. It's this deep northeast. Uh, I don't think I have. Maybe we'll go take a look at it, unless this is it. That's the first king's final rest, so that yeah, is not it. What can we go out here and discover? Forsaken Ruins. They have a hedge knight, marksman, raiders, few bandit veterans, and a monk. <laughs> Mike? What was I going to say? I almost completely slaughtered the word monk. Interesting. Let's uh, take a step back. Repair train if we can. Hopefully not get ambushed by anything. I want to come in at night time and do that. John gets here. Time to get moving. Except for you guys. This is where we end the episode. I want to thank everyone for coming by. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Do you come back tomorrow? We're going to go attack that place and hopefully not get slaughtered to death. Uh, no promises. The uh, bandit veterans can be a bit tough. Though the lack of master archers is really what's selling me on the place. Uh, but I think it'll be a good time. So come by then. Hopefully it'll be a lot of fun. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you for always coming back. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for all the subs. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. It's always a lot of fun to go through and read everything that people think. It's always exciting to watch somebody go and see the video um, as soon as I post it, even though that usually means you're getting a crappy, not like rendered fully. YouTube takes a while to like process a video when you put it out. So if you watch it right away and it's like 360p, it's because I just finished uploading it. Um, you give it like 10 minutes, usually it will come back better quality. But uh, it's always exciting to see that somebody's excited for it to come out and watch it right away. And that means a lot to me. So thank you to everyone that does that. But regardless, if you subscribed or you watch these a year from now because you don't really care that much or whatever, I hope you guys have a great day. And I hope to see you again soon. Take care.